Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sunny Beauty here, and I'm back with another video. I know. Today I'm back with another review. I'm gonna be reviewing the new Makeup Forever 24 Hour Matte Velvet Concealer. This concealer is supposed to be like a multi-use contour, conceal, correct type of concealer and I think it's supposed to be similar to maybe like the Too Faced concealer so I'm gonna see if I like this just as much but this just came out. Um, it is in the shade 5.1 and yeah so if you guys want to see how it looks on me stay tuned. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it, which I know you will. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna do my full face for you guys. As per usual, I always start with my brows on already. I'm just gonna be priming my eyelids with my e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer. Okay, so the palette I'm gonna be using today is the Maddie Ziegler. Honestly, I don't know how to say her name. I think it's Ziegler or Ziegler. But it's the Imagination palette from Morphe. It's a collaboration with her and Morphe. So I'm gonna be using this. And I just received this palette yesterday in the mail. So it is my first time even like touching it, looking at it, but look at all the colors, guys. So pretty. So I'm gonna go in with this light purple shade right here. It's called She Insists. I'm gonna apply that in my crease area. Um, I don't know. I've never worn a color like this before, so I'm pretty excited for this. And this palette just, it's so pretty, guys, honestly. And it has a mirror. You know how I feel about palettes with mirrors in it, like, saving me. I'm just gonna apply that to the crease area. Oh, it's so pigmented, too. Wow. Yeah, this color is super pigmented. I'm so happy that I went with this as my transition. Kind of going for like something a little different today. I usually do like neutrals like 99.9% .9 of the time. So I am gonna use a little bit more color, especially before summer is over because it's already, it's already August. By the time you blink, it's gonna be September. Yes, I like this. So I'm gonna go in with this darker purple. It's called Posy, and I'm gonna use that to just to deepen up the outer corners. I'm just gonna be going in with a Morphe M456. They actually sent this with the palette, so I'm gonna see how I like it. I used the other one, the M433. This one's a little bit smaller than the one that I usually use. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, these colors are super pigmented, guys. Easy to blend, easy to work with. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna just kind of go back in with a little bit more of that lilac color because I still want this to be the base of everything. I just wanted it a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna just kind of mix them together a little bit. I don't want it to be too, too purple, but I still want a little bit of purple there. Yeah, I like how that is, so I'm just gonna do the other eye And I'm just going back in with some of the She Insists just to add more of that like lighter purple back to everything. I don't want it to be too, too dark. And I still want this light purple to like stand out. This is so pretty. I don't think I've done these colors before ever. I do love purple, that's the funny thing though. I never do purple, but I love purple on my eyes. I think I just look really nice with purple. So the next color I'm gonna go in with is this silvery champagne -y color. It's called God Mom. So I'm just gonna apply that right in the, oh, okay. This is a such a pretty color, it's so pigmented, guys. I like this color. I like this palette a lot. There's so much colors in here that you can use. Oh my gosh, so sparkly. Okay, so just right on top of that like silvery champagne -y color, I'm gonna go in with this little mini Stilla liquid glitter. It's in the shade Perlina, and I'm just gonna apply some of that right on top of that color there, just to give it a little bit more dimension. 
Okay, so I brought you guys a little bit closer. So like I said, I'm gonna go in with the liquid glitter from Stila. It's in the shade Perlina. And I'm gonna see how that goes. Oh, I like this. Just added a little bit more something to the eye, you know? So I just put it on the back of my hand actually because it's a sample and I think I waited too long to use it and now it's pretty much dried up. So I'm just gonna apply it with a brush. Yes, I like that. I'm wondering if I want some of my outer corner to be a little bit darker, but I kind of don't at the same time. I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna go in with my Essence Liquid Ink Liner. This is a 24 hour liquid liner and it's so affordable, so cheap. I think it was like $3. I'm gonna line my lower lash line with my NYC City Proof uh, pencil liner in the shade black, of course. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go back in with the two purple shades and I'm gonna run a pencil brush on my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit. And funny thing, they did send me a smudge brush as well. So I'm gonna be using their M508 um, smudge brush. And I'm gonna go in with those two colors. It's really nice and dense, so it's picking up a lot of product. So definitely that palette gets a 10 out of 10 for me because I really, really like the colors in there. Okay guys, so I put some lashes on. These are the Artie Beauty Lashes in the style Liverpool. They're like one of my favorite lashes, so I will link them down below. Um, so I'm gonna move on to my face now because I'm excited to try the concealer. This is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I love this primer so much. Um, between this and the Maybelline Blur, Master Blur, two are my like favorite go-to primers, but I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. one today. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be going in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. This is in the shade 180 Dark. So I just recently did a review on this foundation, guys, so check that out, my initial reaction, but I really, really like this foundation. And I love the fact that it has a pump on it, so I'm gonna be going in with this one today. Okay guys, and now for the star of the show. This is the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Skin Concealer. So this is supposed to be a 24 hour wear concealer. I'm just gonna give you guys some specs on it because I like to give you guys the details. The website says this full coverage blurring concealer is waterproof, sweat proof, transfer proof, and delivers 24 hour wear. It's lightweight and airy. This blendable multitasking formula has an extra large applicator and a precision tip for all over the face used to spot conceal, color correct under the eye circles, and to contour. So let's get started. And also this was 36 Canadian dollar, 9 ml. Mm, I don't know. It's concealer, I don't know, it's whatever. Like I find that if the concealer's good, it's worth the price. So I'm gonna see if it's really everything it says, like 24 hour wear, is a matte finish, transfer proof. I think I'm gonna see if it's really transfer proof because almost everything is transfer proof. Then try it out and I'm gonna show you guys. I have it in the shade 5.1. So guys, the applicator wand, it says it's large. Oh, it is really big actually. This is almost reminding me of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer Wand. So I'm just gonna apply some of this concealer. I'm gonna start with a little at first to see how it blends out. And then I'll go in with more if I need it. Okay, what I can say is as I was applying it, it felt so smooth. Like literally, I haven't had a concealer that felt this smooth ever. Um, it's not like really thick, but it's also not like a really thin, watery consistency. It literally feels like, it almost feels moussey. Like 
literally velvety like it says so it's really nice in that sense um i think i could have went with the shade a little bit lighter but it's okay that's just my personal preference i like my concealers really light but i'm gonna blend this out now with my uh, beauty blender and see how that goes wow guys this blended out really really nice honestly i'm not gonna lie to you and it almost oh it's true actually i was gonna say it almost made my skin look like poreless but it did say it blurs out the skin so i really really like that it literally looks like i don't have any pores like <laughs> that's crazy i've never tried anything from makeup forever um ever ever actually so this is actually really nice that this is my first makeup forever product and honestly right now speaking like i i really like it and it's not matte i don't really like matte concealers i'm more like a satin finish because it gives a more like natural skin like look rather than having your under eyes look really tight and dry i'm an oily person and i still enjoy more of a satin finish concealer it looks really satin as well because it doesn't look like too shiny but it's also not too matte at the same time Okay, yeah, I really like the concealer. My skin literally looks like perfect. It looks like no pores. I almost want to know if they have a foundation version of this or something because this looks really good. I'm going to look that up actually if they have a foundation version because if so, I would definitely try that out on this channel. So let me know down below. I'll still look into it myself. But if there's any Makeup Forever products that you guys love, let me know what they are because this is my first one and I'm really, really, really impressed. Um, so to set that guys, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Pro Filter setting powder per usual. I always use this powder to set and I love this powder to set. So if this concealer goes with this powder really well, then I think I might have a winner. <laughs> so this is the Fenty Pro Filter setting powder in the shade Banana. And I'm just gonna use my sponge and apply that. Okay guys, so I'm not big on baking. I always take some on the sponge and then I dab off the rest on into the lid. And then I just go in and I press it into the skin. I find that this gives it like a more flawless look rather than like baking and drying out my under eyes. And then to set the rest of my face to bring it back to color i'm going to be going in with the mac mineralized skin finish powder this is in the shade dark and then next i'm going to be going in with my brownie bar palette from beauty bakery this is like my favorite palette at the moment um, because it has everything all in one there's a contour shade blush shade and a highlighter shade i love it so much so i'm just going to be going in with the angle brush an angle blush brush and I'm dipping into these two shades here. And I'm just gonna apply that to the hollows of my cheeks, just to add some definition. And it helps to bring back some color to my face as well. Concealer looks so good. Honestly, I look like so smooth, it's crazy. So I'm just gonna use some of this to contour my nose as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a highlighter from the palette and I'm just gonna use like a small little eyeshadow brush like this. And I'm just going to apply it. Ooh. So I'm just gonna set my face with my MAC Fix Plus setting spray and then I'm gonna move on to my lips. So I'm gonna be going in with my favorite lip combination at the moment. That is the Shayla X ColourPop Brown Lip Liner. It's in the shade uh, BFF4. Okay, so for the lipstick, I'm not actually using lipstick today. I'm just gonna use lip gloss. This is one of my favorite lip glosses right now. This is Boho from Morphe. And I love this color. It's like a nice, like nudie kind of pinky beigey kind of color it's so pigmented guys so that's why i love using this okay and then i'm just gonna go on top of that with some clear lip gloss this is from essence it's the clear gloss that i always use and i know i already have a gloss on but i kind of like adding a gloss on top of this one because this is a little bit thinner and this is a thicker lip gloss and this just makes it a little bit shinier i don't know 
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I am in love. I love the eyes and I love the lips. I love the skin. I love everything actually. The concealer is like probably one of the best concealers I've used ever. I'm not gonna lie to you. So this is gonna be a new staple on my channel because I really, really like how this concealer like, mm, I like how it's looking. It honestly is like very blurring. It does blur out the texture of my skin. Um, I don't see like my pores or any imperfections underneath my eyes or anything like that. So I really, really, really like this concealer for that. I don't know, I would highly recommend it to be very honest with you. And I'm also in love with this palette, this Maddie palette with uh, Morphe. I'm gonna be using this a little bit more on my channel because these are two new things that I'm just like in love with right now. And I love when I try new things for you guys and I fall in love with them, like, you know. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the button down below. Leave me a comment actually also on what Makeup Forever products that you like or if you've ever tried Makeup Forever. I've never tried them. Um, I don't think I had any interest in trying them before this concealer. Uh, let me know what else is good with that brand. So yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below and join the Sunny family. Bye, guys.